was rebuilding it could be told for years after years after years. Thank you so, so much for being here. I see you, Trisha. What's up, you guys? Uh, hi. I just got back to LA and I'm kind of like unpacking and unwinding and I still have to fix my hair. The last day we were in Puerto Rico, we got these like hamamun, hamamun, hamamun. It's like a Turkish bath like massage thing and they were amazing. I didn't realize like how much of a bath they give you and they pretty much just like dunk your head in water. And so I literally got on the plane, that was right before I got on the plane, I literally got on the plane with just like wet hair, no product, no detangling brush, nothing. So that's the product of this this hair that you're seeing, uh, which will probably be like this for the next couple days because I'm gonna get my hair done on Wednesday and it's now Sunday. So you'll probably see it like a hot mess for the next few days. Um. So yeah, sorry, bear with me, but if you guys don't know, now you know, <laughs> Mr. Vice President. No, uh, if you guys don't know or don't follow me on Instagram or Twitter or don't follow my boyfriend Jason who already posted um, the first part of our Puerto Rico trip vlogs, my Puerto Rico vlog will be up later today on my second channel. Um, but I thought this deserved its own video, like its own kind of sit down thing because I've had a chance to like process everything. So. Jason kind of, Jason was great at vlogging the night of Hamilton. So we went, so if you guys don't know, my boyfriend surprised me. So if you guys don't know, let's start at the beginning. If you guys don't know, I'm a huge Hamilton fan. Um, from 2016 to uh, now, I'm like obsessed. Like my love for it has never died down. It's only kind of gotten more passionate, which is, you know, the height of Hamilton, I would say was around 2015, early 2016. I found Hamilton late 2016. So I kind of missed the hype of it all. And I remember, I kind of remember the hype of it, but I just didn't know what it was about. And it just sounded like, oh, history. I was awful at history. I was like, that's something I'm definitely not interested in. And I was introduced to the cast recording in 2016 and I really just liked the music and the songs not really like understanding the story like King George's songs I literally thought were like a love song I thought he was like singing to somebody in the play like not knowing it was a love song to America and you know like I, I didn't really grasp the concepts of the songs or like the meanings of them until I saw the play and I think 20 it was 2016 when I saw the play with my dad and it was great, but it wasn't like something I fell in love with. I became really, I mean, I, I fell in love with it. I liked it, but it wasn't something I was like obsessed with. Um, and so I, I don't know. I just always started like listening to the songs. They were just really catchy and they would play a lot on my repeat, on my shuffle. Um, and it wasn't until when was the next, so there was like a, I want to say 2017 and 2017. I had a really bad breakup. I literally found someone like cheating on me in my own house and uh, with somebody and it was awful and that was around Christmas time. And so from cr around like the day after Christmas to like New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, I just sat in and watched Hamilton clips and just like, I don't know, it just was like this thing that brought me happiness. I talked about this before, so I'm not gonna like get too into it, but it was just something that like brought me great happiness. It was something that was entertaining. It was like drama, it was like a reality show because it has like all this love drama. It has beautiful costumes, amazing music, and I just sort of fell in love with it. So I decided to take myself to see it. I think it was early 2017, so maybe late 2016, early 2017, is that the timeline? I don't wanna get it mixed up, but I think that was the timeline. So early 2017, I took myself to go see it front row, I treated myself to front row in New York and uh, I like fell in love with it because I got to see their facial expressions. I don't know, something just like connected with me, it just made me happy and I just have like loved Hamilton. So now going from that, you know, I've obviously done videos starting in 2016 to up until like a couple weeks ago. That's when Miss Mariah Reynolds walked into my life. She said, I know you are a man of honor. I'm so sorry to bother you at home, but I don't know where to go. And I came here all the time. A month into this endeavor, I received a letter from a Mr. James Reynolds. Even better, it's a sign. And if there's a reason I'm still alive, so many have died. I'm willing to wait for you can write the rhymes, but you can't write mine. Rise up, rise up. I'm running out of time, I'm running out of time. I have the honor to be your obedient serve a colony. It says there's you disgust me. You disgust me. I'm a trust fund, baby. You can trust me. I've been reading common sense by Thomas Paine. Some say that I'm intense or I'm insane. You want a revolution? I want a revelation. So listen to my declaration. We all Thank you. 
the trigger. Confession time, here's what I've got. My fellow soldiers will tell you I'm a terrible shot. Number eight, last chance to turn up what you think. Send in the sessions, keep shaking, take them from this break. They won't teach you this in your classes. But look it up, Hamilton was wearing his glasses. Why? If not to take deadly aim, it's him or me, the world will never be the same. I had only one thought before the slaughter. This man will not make it or remember my daughter. This mother bad will never love to do for someone that's a suit. He will never touch a suit without a sentiment to do his daughter. Looking for his late mother. year with my boyfriend uh we went to new york for his he had he had like a business thing last august in new york and chicago new york he had to go do something with the vmas and i tagged along because i was like oh maybe i'll get to go see hamilton and i got his tickets and he was less than thrilled about going because he had already seen it and he doesn't love musicals he's not a musical guy um so he, we kind of didn't get dressed up. We had like a big fight before. I wasn't gonna even go. I was like, just forget it. You don't love Hamilton like me, just forget it. We ended up going. He ended up like actually like chasing me to the theater. It was like a whole drama thing. I was like crying in the Hamilton line, but uh, all's, all that, all's well that ends well because um, we ended up seeing it that night. We just were like, he was in like his running clothes because he was about to go take a run and he decided to come and I was gonna stay home and just pout. And so I was like in like literally like pajamas. Um, and he, the next day we had to go to Chicago for his podcast, his live podcast show. So <laughs> we had the night off and he surprised me with front row Hamilton tickets in Chicago. Uh, last night, I'm really sorry. So I got you two tickets for tonight. No, you didn't. Yeah. Are you just showing me this on, are you just showing me this? Are, we, are you kidding? Did you buy these for real? Yeah. No, you didn't. Let me see a confirmation. You did not buy them. Those are the tickets. Those are the tickets. Jason, for tonight? 7.30. I swear to God, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill you. Are you, are you really killing me right now? No, why would I do that? <laughs> Jason, are you kidding me? No, nothing. Why would I do that? That would be like a really mean thing to do. <laughs> Is that what you were doing with the credit card? Yeah. <laughs> are you kidding me? No, I'm not. You're going to sit there and we'll sit again tonight. Yeah. 
where are we got so basically he's like let's dress up and go to a fancy dinner and so he kind of tricked me into like dressing up and then we did this like redo i guess and we went to hamilton chicago so i got to share with it him again anyways he knows my obsession i like seeing hamilton all the time like i love hamilton hamilton and elvis those are like my things that's what i love um <laughs> but hamilton has been one that like we've been sharing. And so yeah, for Christmas, he got me my Hamilton tickets. And I had begged him to go, if you guys know the backstory, I had begged him to go to Puerto Rico and I was gonna like pay for the trip and everything. Cause like, I don't expect him to spend money on me. I'm not that kind of girl. Um, and he actually ended up surprising me with the tickets and we did get the benefit tickets, which were like $5,000 a piece, which um, I thought benefited the hurricane relief. I, I might've misspoken on that. For some reason, I thought that's what it was benefiting. But we ended up meeting the organization, the head of the organization down there that like we donated to and it's the Flamboyant Arts Fund, which I believe is uh, education, like education for the schools down there. And I don't know if it's just performing arts education or all education, but regardless, I still think it's a great cause. Like obviously children and education and anything that has to do with that, like I, we're happy to donate. So it ended up being a good cause. So anyways, that's kind of the backstory. I, I've said this a million times in videos, so I feel like it's kind of, I don't want to be like redundant and just keep saying the same story over and over and taking up an hour of this video because this video might still be an hour long with my Hamilton Puerto Rico experience. So being a Hamilton stan, I obviously became really infatuated with Lin-Manuel Miranda, who is the creator of the show and also the original star, the original Hamilton. Um, and I think he's pretty genius. Like if you've ever listened to Hamilton or watched the show, like it's, it's very genius. Like it's just genius is the only way to describe it. Like the words, there's so many words, so many rhymes, the rhymes he does use, the, the flow, like also to have be historically accurate and to have, and to write it into like this drama and this like, to keep it interesting. Like it's, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a masterpiece. Um, my favorite musical before Hamilton or my favorite show to go see was Wicked. I had seen Wicked. I seen Wicked and Phantom probably about the same. I think I've seen show, each show about 30 times. So that was like my show. I've seen Hamilton now 16 times. So I'm catching up. But, um, but, and as much as I love Wicked and Phantom of the Opera, I think those are relatively, even just in the Amazing Dream Dreamcoat, which is biblical. Like I love that show too. That's like one of my favorites, Johnny Osmond. Those shows are all so brilliant. And Wicked, I was like, I, I still am like obsessed with like, oh my God, like the chance to play Glinda, I would be like, I would die. Like that's like my, that was like my show, the costumes, everything. Even that is a relatively simple, it's still brilliant. The music is brilliant, but it's, it's, it's a relatively simple show. Hamilton's very complicated and to make it interesting and to put all the characters together into like the way he like brings back the melodies like throughout the show and like incorporate things throughout the show that come back around, like the wait for it, the room where it happens, like, just all this stuff where it, like it keeps coming back and even the ding 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 ding, ding, ding like that goes throughout the show like it's just it's brilliant as opposed to something like wicked is just a lot more simple and the show was kind of already there it's also like a fantasy show so like you can kind of just put a goat as a teacher and it makes sense you know what i mean um granted wicked is very clever too if you've never seen wicked it's very clever how they you know who forms into the tin man who forms into the scarecrow the cowardly lion like that's all very interesting and i do think that's very clever it's just a lot more simple and it's kind of comparing apples and oranges except Hamilton being this really genius apple that like still hangs from the tree and never falls like it's really it's 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 just it's it's amazing and I, I tell people like even if you don't like musicals like you can really enjoy Hamilton like I love taking people to see it we're gonna go see it in San Francisco with that same cast aside from Lynn in, in about a month up in San Francisco I'm like pointing as a San Francisco right there in my living room so yeah, so yeah, so I became like a Lin fan, obviously, because it, again, he's just genius. That was a whole <laughs> long way of saying that, but uh, he's he's genius, like just genius. And so I started following him on like Twitter, which is he's very active on, and um, he just him in particular, like I idolize this guy, right? He's he's so genius and he's so talented, and I just started following him, you know, through the Moana, you know, him soundtrack and him talking about his love for Disney movies, like The Little Mermaid, and you know how a lot of it inspired Moana and all that stuff like that, like you know. Then I then I followed like him obviously into Mary Poppins, but even just like his insight, his words of wisdom, his love, his acceptance, and then also more recently for me, his political standpoints, which, you know, I had a recent scandal about old, an old video of mine that had resurfaced about my political views, but, uh, I, which were, I never really had any. I was always just kind of like 
people talked about politics and got attention, so I thought, okay, that's gonna be me. But, you know, and then I would say, like, I had no, I have no interest in politics. But I will say, like, he's changed my mind and perspective on so many things, or opened my mind, or just, like, not even changed my mind. He's opened my eyes to a lot of things that are going on in this world, because I'm an ignorant person for the most part. I, I stay, if you can't tell my house, I'm in, like, fantasy land. Like, I stay in Trish world, because I'm so scared of the outside world and politics. I'm scared of knowing like the truth of things happening. I'm scared of like the world ending. I'm scared of so many things that I, I choose to just ignore and be in my own fantasy world, which doesn't really benefit humanity, right? If I'm just buried. And at the same time, while well, I can't say I'm like, I'm this activist now all of a sudden, like someone who is a very big activist like Lynn, you know, it has, it has, it has opened my eyes and changed my perspective. Aside from that, you know, obviously meeting other people in my life, you know, DACA recipients and all that stuff like that, like just people in my real life just struggling with stuff that's going on with our government, obviously opened my eyes as well too. But Lynn specifically, he's very vocal and very, and in, usually stuff like that kind of turns me off. And I think a lot of times like some, I'm like, okay, you're a celebrity, entertain us. But he's very insightful. And not only that, he's very like open-minded and very like loving. He, 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 he can push his agenda or push his thoughts with love behind it, which I think is, is what more people should do on both sides, left or right, but I don't want to get too political in this, but he's, he's changed my life. I mean, he's opened my mind and has educated me in so many ways just by following him on Twitter. You know what I mean? Like, and listening to him speak and even his Tony Award speech about like love is love is love. Like just like, it, it's like all this stuff is just like so moving and so powerful and his main message is love. I showed it on my blog channel. I got some like love. He had some like um, a pop-up shop in Puerto Rico of all these of in at the show of all this stuff So I think today's the last day that it's actually there. So if you didn't get to see it, that's a bummer because it was it was amazing, but So yes, I'm a Hamilton fan, but I'm also a huge Lin Manuel Miranda fan And I think he's just brilliant and there's something about him that just is very godlike to me and I love God I, I'm, a, I'm a I'm a Christian. I believe in Jesus. I believe in God like so I'm not saying that to be blasphemous I'm saying like it's almost that same sense where it's almost like an unbelievable almost like a not a real thing but almost like this like this ideal ideal light in this world if that makes sense which is kind of like godly so anyways that's kind of the background so we go to puerto rico and we finally make it it's you know an eight hour travel day from la with the stops in miami and the layovers and all that but i'm so excited and the day of the show we get there on a wednesday and the day of the show is thursday the day of the show i'm so nervous i don't even vlog like i said jason was in the car kind of like with his like phone vlogging a little and then you can't really vlog when you get in there but at the gala the clip of lynn um everyone was filming and lynn was obviously looking down at everybody and everyone had their phones out so i guess in that situation he didn't really care because we're a super respectful like i mean if, if if they say like i i they even say don't take pictures at the hamilton stage um i did once and i didn't know that was like a thing that you weren't supposed to do i guess it's like copyright or something i don't know and a lot of people do do it but i know they're they're pretty even wicked they're very like protective of the stages and um that's cool like I respect it like I, I do think there is some magic at like seeing it in person and so we didn't vlog like obviously in the show because that's like super disrespectful it's like the biggest no-no of live theater um but um yeah so we were in and he like vlogged on the way there and I was just so nervous and um is there a baby out there <laughs> sorry baby uh I was so so nervous um I, I, like I said, I explained it more in, in Jason's vlog. I'll like put a little clip of it here. Towards Hamilton. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> I'm so excited. Me, I'm nervous for her. Getting ready for the performance of a lifetime. I feel more calm. Yeah, you feel better now that you're in here? No, I have not I literally like didn't know. It just was like, I was so excited to see him, but I know like once I saw it, like once my shot was over. I was never gonna see him perform my shot again. Like, that's why, Lynn, if you're watching this, please put the, the PBS special out. I think they filmed it, like, with the original cast and everything. Like, please put that out. I know there's bootleg versions, and I really, I, try, I did watch it once, but I really try not to, because, it, again, that's, like, a huge disrespect to the art and the craft that is live theater, and also the people who put on the show, and also the creator of the show, which is Lynn. So, please put it out. I would love to rewatch it a thousand and one times, because, like, but seeing him live was just incredible. He comes out, when he, that first line, Alexander Hamilton, people just like erupted. They stood up for like, it felt like 10 minutes. Like it felt like a really long time. And he, watching him perform on stage, like I just, I like, I, I was mesmerized. Like I've, I don't know if I've ever seen a performer where I was mesmerized. Like I love Britney Spears. I love watching her perform, but I'm, I'm not like, uh, I'm trying to think if there was, I've seen Christian Chenoweth perform, who's amazing. Um, 
there's so many people I've seen like in, in person that I'm like, wow, it's like amazing. But, and even like Elton John, but I never was mesmerized. I would watch him and it felt, and this is kind of like important to like what happens later on. I would watch him and I felt almost like, like I was hallucinating. Like I almost felt like he was like singing to me. You know what I mean? Like you feel that way. You're kind of like, whoa, he's like looking right into my soul singing this or he's, you know, making you a part of the story. And I've never seen a performer like that that made me feel, I'm trying to think. Like, I, Donny Osmond's probably my favorite live performer. And, like, I don't even know if I feel mesmerized. Like, he's very connected with the audience, but I don't know if I've ever been like, he's looking into my soul. Like, he looks at you and he's like, hey, thanks for coming, having a good time. But it was it was crazy. It was a really crazy experience. Like, I just, I, like, cried when he came out. I was just, like, mesmerized. I'm sitting there just, like, holding back tears throughout the whole show. He's so funny in the first act and so lively. And then in the second act, he's so, like, somber like it was oh my god I'm saying no to this with Lynn you guys you guys know that was like my favorite my first favorite like scene I think that's the first scene I did here on YouTube or song I did here on YouTube I love oh my god I love saying no to this I love that song so much I love the whole the whole blocking the choreography the costumes the, the interaction of all the characters like it's so good it's, it's it's a very like sexual song so like seeing that perform live I was like oh I felt like I was like in puberty again like watching people like you know, have simulated sex for the first time in a movie. I'm like, oh, oh, like that's how I felt. Um, I have a story about Mariah Reynolds, the girl who played her as we get to the gala. So let's just, so anyways, I'm just trying to like make this not too long, but I want to get all the details because it was amazing. So I'm, I'm mesmerized. I'm amazed. And then, you know, we got the VIP packages as did I think like 300 other people. Like it was a lot of people that got the VIP, which is great because again, it's for a good cause. So uh, we all were all told to sit and wait. And, but like at the, oh my God, but at the end, I was so sad. I was so sad. As we were even getting into the second act, I'm like, I don't want this to be over. I don't want this to be over. Um, and the only thing is, I don't know. I don't know how people bigger than me sit in those chairs because like I felt huge in those chairs. Broadway's the same way. At least there was more room. Like when you go to a Broadway show, like literally the seats are like right by your knees. Um, it's weird because here in LA, like Pantages where we have our Broadway, like there's space that you can like go between, but Broadway's right to here. And it wasn't that, that they were so close to your knees. It was just like, I felt really tiny. Like the seats felt tiny, like I couldn't move. I felt, I mean, <laughs> it wasn't anyone's fault. I mean, that's just theater. I mean, probably just my fat ass needs to lose some weight. But I was just like, this whole time in my butt, in, like my fat injections in my butt, I could just feel hard and I was like, oh, that's a little uncomfortable. But it didn't really matter. I mean, when I stood up, I was like, oh, that was a lot. Um, but yeah, so so then we're told to sit after the show, and I was really excited. So we had tweeted, I tweet Lynn, Lynn Middle all the time, and almost to the point of like, it gets a little like creepy even for me. I'm like, I'm gonna calm down so I don't think I'm a total weirdo. And then my boyfriend, Jason, he had, he had, so this is this is something I never said before, um, but I think it's okay now because it doesn't matter at this point. Because <laughs> um, I didn't want to jinx it. Uh, but Jason had tweeted like, hey, can everyone just like tweet at Lynn Manuel? We're going to Puerto Rico next week. It'd be like a amazing if he could meet with us because we thought the tickets the ten thousand dollar tickets like included like a meet and greet but it didn't and that's fine that's cool like I mean meet and greets are exhausting like I know and then having to do this all the time like oh it's exhausting so I it was it was not a big deal but then we're like okay, we'll just try and tweet him so that was like, a couple weeks before the show and then I get a dm from I have a Hamilton journal where I like document everything <laughs> all my Hamilton experiences it's like this little like junk journal and I printed out the dm the tweet and he said um oh, the exact one. he only and I, like I said, if this was anything like personal or like private, I wouldn't, but it was like, it was really cool more than any, anything. Um, oh, here it is. Um, all he said, there was just one DM on January 13th that said, all right, Trisha, what show are you seeing? And it was like a smiley face. And that was like a, like maybe 12 hours after Jason had tweeted. So I thought, cause you know what, when I tweet him a lot, it may look like it could look like a ton of things. It could look like a creepy fangirl. It could look like I'm trying to hit on him. So I think having like Jason tweet him, I felt like maybe it was like non-threatening. Because the other thing I really admire and respect about Lynn is like, one, he keeps his kids' faces private, which I don't necessarily think like if you show your kids, it's a bad thing. Heck, if I had kids, I'd probably be showing them on all my YouTube videos for sure. But um, I think that's cool that he does that. I, I Like I said, I don't like think it's, you know, I don't think it's weird when parents show their kids. I mean, that's cool too. Like you're proud of your kids. Um, but I think that's cool that he does. He keeps them you know, private to have relatively normal lives. And then I also think it's really cool how he's always like constantly praising and showing off that he's married and that he like loves his wife and how beautiful she is. Like I respect that to the like own degree as someone who's been cheated on in like every single relationship. 
I think that's amazing. I think that's like so cool. So I totally kind of get like him maybe not wanting to respond because it could be disrespectful to the relationship as like I'm a female. And uh, you know, I, I think I'm just like a crazy person that like if I, you know, Jason can DM and tweet whoever he wants. I don't care. Like, especially if they're like fans of his, like, yeah, of course, like go meet them, hug them, talk to them. Um, you know, but I can see how, you know, someone who like, like Jason is very respectful of our, our, our relationship. He doesn't really, he doesn't really tweet back girls that much. And if he does, it's always like something that has to do with like David's vlog or something like that. Um, he doesn't like like other girls' photos and it's not anything because of me. A lot of people are like, wow, Trisha's crazy and control. It's like, at the beginning I was, but I'm so secure now in our relationship. I'm like, you can, you can literally go do whatever you want, go hang out with, like, you know, they have a bunch of girlfriends um, that, that that his friend group hangs out with. I'm like, yeah, go out with them. Like, I don't, I trust him 100%. So it's not that, but I can see like how, like I said, a guy that has respect for his wife or his girlfriend, maybe it shouldn't be tweeting someone who's always tweeting him, even if it was innocent. So I think coming from like Jason tweeting, this is just in my head. This isn't me overthinking so much. I'm an overthinker. Hi, I'm just, I'm an overthinker. Um, so I was like, maybe coming from him, he's like, oh, okay. She has a boyfriend and like, you know, she's not like trying to hit on me or anything like that because I am obsessed with Jason. I love Jason more than anything in the world. Like not even Jason Momoa, Lin-Manuel Miranda and Donny Osmond and Jesus Christ combined could like tear me away from Jason. Like I love him that much. So, um, but I, I really idolize and like respect, you know, Lynn as the creator that he is and the genius that he is. So I understood, but it was cool then. So like after Jason tweeted, he's probably like, in my head, I'm thinking, oh, maybe that's like, this is cooler coming. Like, it's just like, oh, okay, this girl is not, Okay, cool. Um, Cause he's favorited some of my tweets in the past, like a couple. So anyways, and I don't know if you see my videos. I know the cast at the end and the gala, oh, okay, I'm my head. the cast of the show has seen my videos, like my Hamilton tribute videos. So, <laughs> which is a little embarrassing cause they're so amazingly talented and I'm always just off key, off pitch, off tune. Like, <laughs> um, so it's a little embarrassing, but like, hey, I love Hamilton, what can I say? So I don't even know, I'm going all over the place. So he sent me that DM and I was so stoked. So, and Jason like was vlogging it and he was gonna like talk about it at the show. I said, no, I don't wanna jinx it. Um, you know, the internet's full of crazy uh, trolls <laughs> and haters and people just trying to ruin stuff for other people and like, you know, things get taken out of context and people tweet people things and then those people maybe not have time to like research it and just see something and be like, oh, you know what I mean? Like there's just, and probably even saying that, making that people are gonna be like, oh my God, this girl, you know what I mean? There's just so many ways to sabotage it. So I'm like, okay, I just don't wanna even like talk about it. I'm like, don't wanna jinx it because if I can get, all I wanted was a picture with Lin-Manuel Miranda. And so I was like, just because like I'm such a picture person, like if you guys could see, like I have like scrapbooks, like Polaroids, like I print out pictures, I frame them, I enlarge them. Like, I mean, literally I'm just trying to just like, you guys, you guys have seen my house for the most part, but do you guys see all the pictures like on the walls everywhere? Like I'm always like framing pictures, like I'm doing the most. I love pictures, pictures mean a lot to me. Um, and so I understand when people want pictures cause like that, that means a lot to a lot of people. It's not just a picture, it means like a lot. And it's something I can look at and like remember, I don't know, pictures mean a lot to me. So I was like, I just want a picture with him. And I, I, like sometimes in your head, I think you expect to be like best friends with your idols. You're just like, they're gonna like love me. Of course they are. Like, we're gonna be best friends. Like, you know, we're gonna sing Hamilton together in my kitchen. Like that's, that's where I'm hoping this goes. You know what I mean? But you know, obviously those are thoughts that like, I, I always have dreamt big. Even when I was little, like I thought, you know, if I just meet Michael Jackson, maybe one day we'll get married. You know, you just dream big, dream big. I was like, all I gotta do is have Michael Jackson meet me and maybe we'll get married. And you know, sometimes dreaming big pays off. I moved to LA in hopes of meeting Quentin Tarantino and I met him within the first six months, thanks to Eli Roth. And um, yeah, and, I, and they were always really cool. I actually got to be like very friendly with Eli and Quentin was always really cool to me when he saw me. So like, you know, dream big. That's what I say. Sometimes people could call you like delusional or crazy. Like I, as a kid, I always wanted to be like a singer and an actress and everyone's like, you suck at all of that. And here I am on YouTube performing my own shows and singing horribly and making YouTube videos and making a living, but also selling out tours singing <laughs> and not great. So thank you, thanks to you guys. But also like, that's just saying like, don't ever give up on your dreams. No matter people are like, wow, you suck and you're delusional. Never give up. Anyways, <laughs> so I still hope that I'm gonna be in Hamilton one day. Just putting out there. So, uh, oh God, I'm all over the place. So yeah, so I thought, okay, maybe, maybe I'll get to meet him. And, but then he just never really to get me back. And that's cool. He gets busy. He has kids. He's with his wife. Like he has a show and other things probably just looming on him. So, um, but then we go to the gala and I'm like so nervous again. I don't know. I think I was more nervous. Cause like, I also feel like sometimes you feel like the weirdo, like you're like, I had full, like uh, this jacket, this bedazzled jacket. Like I love rhinestones, obviously. 
I had this full rhinestone Hamilton jacket I wore, which is like a, a sexy, like meshy dress and stuff, but you still feel a little self-conscious. Um, you also feel like, I feel like also too, like, okay, well he knows who I am because he once DM'd me and he's favored a couple of my tweets and maybe he doesn't put two and two together. I was like, oh, I recognize this girl or whatever. You know, maybe he just thinks of it as a like random people tweeting him. Um, and so you just don't really know. And then also I'm like, okay, well maybe he doesn't even know I exist, which is sad. But then I'm also like, but maybe he does know I exist. And that's also a scary thought. Cause I'm like, what if he thinks I'm a crazy fan? What if he's like, oh my God, this girl's delusional. Like I need to be nice to her. Cause she seems crazy. Like you just start thinking all these things. So I get really like nervous and shy. Like when we were there, he's like, you have to DM him. You have to tweet him and say, we're here. This is it. We're in Puerto Rico. Like ask for a picture. And I'm like, no, no. Like he obviously like, he saw that he DM me. He obviously knows who I am. And if he wanted to meet me, he'd meet me or like, you know what I mean? And like, I, I don't like to pressure anyone or like be annoying. So I didn't know um, Jason tweeted a picture of us. And of course, to no avail, we didn't hear anything from him. So we go to the gala. And like I said, the gala did not include a meet and greet with Lynn Manuel, but that was cool, whatever. We go and we see him come out and he gives like a speech um, about 30 minutes after waiting up there and like hors d'oeuvres and wine. And I haven't drinking, I haven't had alcohol in over a year probably. And so I had like two glasses of wine. I was so nervous. Um, and then he comes out and oh my God, it was like, he was just so cool. Like he was so Lin-Manuel Miranda, if that makes sense. Like they, how you picture like the SNL sketch of Lin-Manuel Miranda and his little like newsboy cap and like Puerto Rico shirt, like that's Lin, right? You're just like, whoa. And like, I never got to stand next to him. I've heard that he's small, like petite, which I, hey, I'm like cool with that. But you, it's, but, but looking him up there, like he just looked very godlike. He just looked very large, not fat or anything, just like a large figure, like a larger than life personality. And I was just like in awe, like it was, and he was up high on a balcony. So everyone's filming at this point. Again, I'm too scared. I haven't filmed this whole time. I was like eating nachos before the show. Like <laughs> I was just so scared. I don't know what I was scared of. I was just so scared. And uh, nervous and just, I don't know, you do feel like, like a little kid, like, uh, seeing like Elvis or I don't know what, I can't, I can't even like seeing God or something appear to you. You're just very like, it's just like, you can't even talk or be yourself or anything. I was like, really? So anyways, he's talking and talking and I, I don't know, he probably talks for a good like 20 minutes and he's talking about like the flamboyant arts fund and I don't know what else he was talking about. I don't know. Jason's recording it. I'm like hiding half behind Jason because here I am in this like blinked Hamilton jacket. Probably like, oh my God, that's the weirdo with the frizzy blonde hair. <laughs> my hair was frizzy. Puerto Rico is not good for my hair type. It was frizzy. Um, uh, yeah, and so he's like, uh, Jason's filming and I'm kind of like, I'm kind of looking at Jason's like, Jason's holding the, the camera like this and I'm like behind him and I'm kind of looking in Jason's like view in his phone to look at Lynn because I almost like couldn't even like look at him. And I, I'm i like, I'm like looking through the lens and then he's like, I see, and then he says. Oh my God, oh my God, I love you, I love you so Because I see you, I see you Trisha, and I just, his, his like, <laughs> His spirit, his energy is just, you just feel love and you just feel like happy. And when he, when he said that, like, this is so, probably sounds so stupid. I think half the population, I think the other half kind of get it. Like, like that acknowledgement from someone that you view in like genius level. Like this is someone that I'm not going to ever get to know on a personal level. Like I'm sure we're never going to be friends. I'm sure I'm, I won't. I, I always like meet people as like equal, like, you know, maybe we'll work creatively together in the future, like on a YouTube video. And, but that's just not in the realm of possibility because he's so, he's so in this elite class now of like, he almost has the whole thing, the EGOT, right? He has the Grammy, the Oscar, the Tony, right? Or does he have the Oscar? I don't know. He has like all these awards, right? I mean, maybe he has, maybe he didn't get the Oscar <sighs> yet. <laughs> and so like, someone that you look up to and you think is just this elite that others the whole world would obviously he's won all these awards have have also viewed him as an elite acknowledge someone like me who's like who's not the smartest who's who's sometimes dumb and ignorant who's definitely not talented who's not like the prettiest who's not the skinniest like I like that's like it's such a I don't know how to explain it like without sounding like a crazy person but like that was um like really validating <laughs> in this weird way 
um, because it's someone, again, that's just so elite and so well to do. And I'm just like this like trashy girl from Illinois. You know what I mean? Like that sings his songs poorly on the internet and just like is this weird obsessive fan. And, and the way he said that too, like, I see. And like, I kid you not, like I, like, like I had a so-called sin because even the day after, like I, like when it happened, I like, I thought he hallucinated just like I thought on stage that he was like singing to me as if I was in the show too. Like that's how I felt watching. I felt like I was in the show and not just like metaphorically speaking, like literally, I felt like I was literally on stage, like performing. It was weird. Even before the show, my boyfriend joked, he's like, oh, good luck. Like, cause I was so nervous. He goes, you're gonna do great. You're gonna do fine. Good luck. Like as if I was a performer in the show and that's how I felt. And I felt that during the show. So it, it, obviously I wasn't in the show. So obviously it's like this sort of hallucination that I was having. Um, and again, I like hallucinated, which if I've, I've talked about my experiences on like America's Got Talent and Ellen, like all these TV shows I've done before where I kind of like black out and don't remember it. I, I remember it as a hallucination. Being here, I see you, Trisha. Oh my God, oh my God, I love you. I love you so much. Oh my God, you're here, you're here. I love you. Oh my God. <laughs> I remember him saying like, hi, Trisha. That's what I remember. I even think I tweeted. I thought he said, hi, Trisha. And so that's what I heard. And I was like, and then Jason turns to me, I'm like, what? And then I'm like, and my, my squeal that I did and the, ah, I love you. Like, I, I didn't know what to say. I didn't even know it was real. And I'm like, do I yell? Am I like crazy? Like, I don't know what to do. Um, and then he said in full Hamilton regalia. And I was just like, <laughs> that was validation. Like, you know, I think at the time I was so concerned on getting that picture for Instagram or getting that picture for Twitter that like, um, you know, Jason, I think, did ask somebody. I didn't want him to ask anybody. He's like, oh, go ahead. Because we talked to the guy that was head of Flamboyant Arts Fund. And he's like, go ask him if, like, you know, you can meet him maybe. Because he said your name. I said, well, he knows I'm here, Sophie. If, if he was taking pictures with people, you know, I'm sure he'd be like, oh, like, have Trisha come back or whatever. Because the cast did do that. So the three girls who played the Skylar sisters, and then there was two people that were in the ensemble, which is amazing. The ensemble of Hamilton is basically, like they all bow together at the end of the show, like the leads in the ensemble, and everyone bows together, including like Hamilton and Burr, and then all the ensemble people. They all bow together, and I think that says a lot about the show, that the show only works with every single person. And so even some of the ensemble members, and so the, the Skylar sisters, the one who played Peggy slash Mariah, who's my favorite character, who'd be like my ideal person to play, and like I want, if they made a movie, like that'd be it. I pretend like I'm her all the time. Like she, she, she was the first one to say, so this, this woman, she goes, shh, like come with me. I thought, oh, this is my, I'm gonna meet Lynn. But I got to meet the cast, which was, I was fangirling hardcore. I was like, oh my gosh. Um, I took a picture with them. It was, it was great. I was like behind the ropes of people cause they came down and talked with people who went to the gala, but um, I got to go behind the ropes and talk to them. And I like fangirl. I said, wow, you girls, like, I'm so happy for you guys. Like that, this is like, this is my dream. Like what you guys are doing is like my dream. And, um, um Peggy Mariah, Daryl, and I believe was her name. Um, she was like, oh, I love your videos. And like, even Angelica was like, the girl who played, the actress who played Angelica was like, like, oh, I, I need to get me like an Angelica short skirt. So they had seen my videos and then Leah or Julia is her name, the girl who played, they were, and they were so phenomenal. They were so tiny. Like you see them on stage and you look at them as like larger than life and like very like, you know, and they wear those big dresses. So I think they look bigger. So when I saw them, they were all like tiny and short. I had my wedding on, but still. They're just so cute and so beautiful. And I was just like, I was like in awe because yes, they're just people, but they're these extraordinary talents that not only got to be on Broadway and a Broadway show like Hamilton, but they get to perform with Lynn. And I just thought, wow, what a dream. They were all so sweet and so nice. Like they had seen my videos and I was just like, I don't even know what I said to them. Cause I was, I was just as excited to meet them as I would have been to meet Lynn, like to get a picture with them. They were just so warm and welcoming and, um, it, again, that's like a whole other, that's a whole other level of wonderfulness is like these people who are, who have proven themselves to be this talent, to be extraordinary in this world, like talking to someone like me, who's, you know, like trashy and can be looked down upon and judged. And yeah, I do like adult material on the internet sometimes, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, it's so easy to judge someone like me. So to find these people so open-minded and kind and like gracious, cause like, 
the past month especially, stuff from my past being brought up and stuff has just crucified me and ruined me in a lot of ways and my self-esteem and just all that stuff. It was nice to know. And also, I have to give a shout out to the people who watched me that lived in Puerto Rico, like subscribers of mine, so sweet. They would, they would find us and they would say like, you know, we support you and we love you and we're always here for you. We know your heart, we know you're a good person. And like, that means, means a lot because everyone makes mistakes, everyone says stupid things. So to, everyone's young and dumb and to have people be forgiving and loving and open-minded and just, that was, that was, that was awesome. That was really great because I think if anyone were to watch my YouTube videos and didn't know me, like this girl is crazy. <laughs> so everyone was so gracious and kind and, um, and yeah, that was our Hamilton, our Hamilton adventure. And so like, you know, I posted the picture. Everyone's like, where's the picture of Lynn? And why didn't you get to meet Lynn? And like, at first you're like really disappointed because you feel like you disappointed the internet. But then you're like, no, I got this really cool moment and this really cool experience. And I didn't really know how I was going to like talk about it or say it. And then Jason posted his video yesterday. and I got so much love. He was like, wow, I'm like so happy for you. And then I realized, I'm like, yeah, that was that was almost a bigger moment than getting a photo, right? Anyone get a photo with him, right? If you see him out you know, I'm, I'm sure he's gracious and takes photos with people, but like getting that and getting that validation and acclamation and that sort of shout out, I guess, in front of all those people, like that was really cool. People came up to me after and I was like, well, how did you get that shout out? Like, are you like a super fan? Like I felt special. It made me feel really special. And, <laughs> and it was living on all Miranda who made me feel special and noticed me. And I just was like, I mean, moments like that, it's like hard to explain unless you like feel that way about someone. Um, and it was awesome and wonderful and I it was magical and I'm so excited because that that same cast aside from Lynn is going to be in San Francisco as I said earlier in the video I'm so excited I'm going to take my friend Adam to see it for the first time I took my mom to see it for the first time I took my dad to see it for the first time so I'm really excited to show Adam it for the first time and yeah, it was really cool. Jason's like, this is the last time I, I that's the last time I'm seeing Hamilton. I said, until I'm in it. And then he goes, yeah, of course. I'll see it every day if you're in it. <laughs> um, yeah, even when I met Wayne Brady, like a couple, like about a month ago in David's vlog, he was so sweet. He played Aaron Burr in Chicago and he was so awesome to talk about Hamilton with me, him and his daughter. Miley, I believe her name is. I, she has, it's spelled, it's spelled different than like Miley Cyrus, but I think it was Miley. She's so sweet. Oh my God. Anyways, but they were also great. I was geeked out about Hamilton and they were so gracious and wonderful to me about it too. And, um, anyways, so that was my Puerto Rico experience. That was Lin-Manuel Miranda noticing me. Um, obviously none of that was possible without my boyfriend, Jason, um, taking me down to Puerto Rico and making that happen. And of course, Lynn and the entire cast and, Skylar sisters were so beautiful. I looked at them and I'm like, wow, you guys really made it. You guys are really living the dream and doing your thing. And they looked so happy. Their faces were just beaming. And I didn't even know them. And I was so proud of them. Like I kept saying that to them. I'm like, I'm so proud of you guys. You guys are living the dream. It just looks like such a fun job and such a fun environment. Like looking at them all backstage. And I don't know, I'm being like a weirdo now. But I, I'm a YouTuber. It's a very, very lonely job at times where you're kind of just like isolated in your house and editing and talking to a camera. So like getting to be out and about and like seeing all that artistic and creativity come together was was truly, truly special. And it was once in a lifetime. I think like, like I said, you don't know in the moment like what's all happening. But I, I do remember like when being like this is I'm a part of history, like watching that happen. So and of course, thank you guys. <laughs> we, we said this, we tweeted this, but um, thank you guys for all the love and support. Like, it's crazy. Like, the fact that you guys watch my videos, that you guys tweet for me, that you guys support me, because no matter what, whether I'm noticed by Lemon Well Miranda or I'm just sitting on my floor talking to you guys, like, I'm living a very blessed life, like, and blessings like this, like Lemon Manuel Lynn noticing me, um, is all because of you guys. Like, I would never have gotten there without you guys. I, I don't think I would ever have been noticed by him without you guys. I know I wouldn't have. Um, like I, I feel like all these blessings I get to experience and these like dreams and these like validating points in my life are because of you guys and like I don't think I can thank you guys enough and the eternal battery temp hot so I don't know but anyways I just never want to disappoint you guys and when I do disappoint you guys because I'm a human I thank you guys for just understanding and being there and trying to see the the picture and seeing me through it and helping me and educating me and informing me about stuff that I don't necessarily know. And I think that's how we all get better as, as humanity. Um, so the human race, love and support. And, um, yeah, I just, I, I can't thank you guys enough from the bottom of my heart. 
YouTube continues to bring me blessings and you guys are the, the sole reason. So thank you. I don't know if I even deserve all the love and support. Uh, it's hard for me to feel like I'm deserving of half the things I get in my life, but um, I'm grateful and I'm thankful. And if it's all taken away tomorrow, I've lived a journey and a dream that I can tell for years to come, even if I'm working you know, delivering pizzas. I have these stories and these memories and that's, that's priceless. So I love you guys so much. You guys see, ever get a chance to see Hamilton? It's on tour. Go check it out. It's in New York. It's in Chicago. It's in London. <laughs> um, it's amazing. It's life changing for me. It may not hit everyone the same way, but you never know. So I love you guys. And until next time, you're my kissies. Smile.